Okay, so this is the 2024 Higher Level Maths Leaving Cert Paper 1, question 7. So Fiac has a gross annual salary of 54,000 euros. She pays income tax at a rate of 20% on the first 40,000 euros of her salary and a rate of 40% on the remainder. She has tax credits of 1775 euros. Work out her net annual pay, assuming that there are no other deductions. Okay, so this is fairly straightforward. It's really a junior cert kind of question. So let's work out. Uh, we'll, we'll work out the gross tax first. So gross tax is going to be equal to 20% of the standard rate cutoff point, which is 40,000 euros. And then we've got to add 40% of the remainder, which is 14,000 euros. This is going to give us our gross tax. So if you get 20% of 40,000, that gives you 8,000 euros. If you get 40% of 14,000 euros, that is 5,600. Let's add those. If you add those, you get 13,600 euros. So that's gross tax. So her net tax for the year is going to be 13,600. We've got to subtract the tax credits, which are 1775 euros. If you do that, you get 11825 euros. Okay, so what were we actually asked? We were asked for her net annual pay. Okay, so what we got to do then is just subtract that for her from her gross pay. So her net annual pay then is going to be equal to 54,000 subtract the deductions 11825 and when you do that you get 42,175 euros so that's it that's part A fairly straightforward let's have a look at part B then so part B then we have Fiac and her partner Take out a 25-year mortgage with a monthly interest rate of 0.279%. They make equal monthly repayments of 1,647.75 at the end of each month. Now, they make the first repayment exactly one month after they take out the mortgage. Write down the present value of each of their first three monthly repayments at the time when they take out the mortgage. Give each value as a fraction and don't multiply out any powers. Okay, so that's handy. So we're going to use this formula here. It's in your tables. F is equal to P times 1 plus I to the power of T. Now, we want the present value. So I'm just going to rearrange this. The present value then is going to be the amount, which is, if you like, the final value, the F. I'm going to just change it to A here for amount. And it's 1 plus i to the power of t. This is what we're going to use here. So we've got to write down the, these, three, uh, these three present values. So the first one then is going to be present value of each of the first three months. So one then is going to be the amount which is 1647.75. And we've got to divide that 1 plus i. So it's going to be 1 plus 0 0.00279 and that's to the power of 1. The second one then is going to be 1647.75. You've got to divide that by 1.00279 and this time it's in there for two months. And the third one then is going to be 1647.75. You've got to divide that by 1.00279. 279 and again that's been there for three months so there are three answers there so fairly straightforward okay so this is the next question here part two this is b2 work out the amount of money that fiac and her partner borrowed for their mortgage give your answer correct to the nearest euro okay it doesn't tell us exactly how to do this so we have a couple of different options here they've kind of given us a bit of a hint in the previous part in part one so I'm going to do that way first. So if we have a look at the timeline, so we have present time and then one month later and then two months later. And then we have, we won't put them all in, I'll put in the last two as well. 
So we're looking at 25 years. So this is going to be T0. This is now, this is T1, this is T2. We're looking at 25 years, which is 300, 300 months. So this is T299. So at each stage, at the end of each month, um, she paid 1647.75, 1647.75. So it's 1647.75 at the end of each month. And she paid at the end as well, 1647.75. These are her monthly repayments. Now we want to look at the present value, the present value of all of these repayments. We've got to add all of those up. So the first one here is this amount here brought back one month. So it's going to be 1647.75 divided by 1.00279 power of 1. If you look at the second month here, if we bring that back to the present here, it's the same thing again. It's 1647.75 divided by 1.00279 to the power of 2 and so on. We can do this one and this one here. I'll just do the last one. I'm going to bring that right back to the present. So you've got 1647.75 and you've got to divide that by 1.00279 and this time it's to the power of 300. So the sum of the present value of all of these payments will be the loan amount. That's what we've got to do. So let's just write out that sequence. The loan amount, so the loan amount is equal to, now I'm going to factorize out the 1647.75. And I'm going to just write down the first one, which is 1.00279. Remember that was to the power of one. We've got to add the second one. 1.00279 and that was to the power of 2. Then we've got to add up all the ones in between and the one at the end as well which was 1.00279 to the power of 300. So again remember the uh, this amount here 1647.75 was on the top of all of these fractions. I just factorized it out just to make the calculations easier. Now we have 1647.75 here and inside the bracket, we have a geometric series. So remember the formula for the geometric series is Sn is equal to A times one minus R to the power of N over one minus R. So this is what I'm gonna use. So A is our first term and R is the common ratio. So in this particular case, A is one over 1.00279, that's the A here, the first term. Got to multiply that by one minus our R, which is one, the same thing again, it's just one over 1.00279. We got to raise all of this here to the power of 300. So it's really just, one to the power of 300 is just going to be one. So it's really just the bottom part here, power of 300. That's all over one minus R. So it's all over one minus our R, one over 1.00279. So there's our calculation. All we've got to do is do all of that on the calculator. Now, I'm not gonna do it out separately. I'm just going to write down the answer that I got when I did all of that. And it is three, three, four, five, six, three. Three, I write down approximately here because I've rounded it as well. Three, three, four, five, six, three. Euros. So it's 334,563 euros. And this is to the nearest, to the nearest euro. Okay, so that's really it. I'll just show you the other way that you could do it, and that's using the amortization formula. So I'll just put in or here. You could do it this way. The amortization formula, again, is in your tables. It's P times 
i 1 plus i to the power of t over 1 plus i to the power of t minus 1. So the amount we know is 1647.75. So it's 1647.75. That's equal to t, the loan amount. That's what we've got to find. So the i was 0 0.00.00279. So multiplied by 1.00279 to the power of 300, because there were 300 months, divided by 1 plus i. So again, it's 1.00279 to the power of 300, and then subtract 1. So when you do out that fraction, on the left hand side anyway you get 1647.75, right hand side you get p times, when you do that out on your calculator you get 0 0.0049-2508-697. And all you've got to do then is just divide across by this amount here and you get the same as what we got above, 33456, 3345. Six three euros. I think that's what we got up here. Three three four five six three. Yeah. So you get the same amount whichever way you do it. it. Doesn't specify in the question which way to do it, so I did it both ways. Okay, so let's have a look at C part one. Give puts money into a savings account and leaves it there for a number of years. The following expression gives f of t the amount of money in the account in euro after t years where t is real and t is positive or equal to zero. f of t is 5,000 e to the power of 0 0.04 t. Use this expression to answer c1, 2, and 3. Use differentiation to find the rate at which the amount of money in the account is increasing after 3.5 years. Give your answer correct to the nearest euro per year. So this is just simply a differentiation question. So we have f of t is equal to 5,000 e to the power of 0 0.04 t. So all we've got to do here really is just differentiate this and then stick in 3.5. So we want f prime t. So if you differentiate e to the power of t, you get e to the power of t. So we're going to get our 5000 e to the power of 0 0.04 t here anyway. Now because this is not an e to the power of t, it's e to the power of some function of t, you've got to differentiate this as well. So you've got to multiply this by 0 0.04. Now when you do that, you get 200 e to the power of 0 0.04 t. Now we have to do this after, so at, if you like, 3.5 years. So we've got to do f prime 3.5 is going to be equal to 200 times e to the power of 0 0.04 times 3.5. So all we've got to do is work that out. So when you do that, you get the nearest euro anyway, you're going to get 230 euros. And the units actually are, this is the rate, it says here, find the rate at which money, at which the amount of money in the account is increasing, correct to the nearest euro per, per year. So it's euros per year. Okay, so that's that part, that's C1. Let's have a look at C2. So use integration to find the average amount of money in the account over the first five years. Give your answer correct to the nearest euro. So the average amount, so again we have f of t is equal to 5000 e to the power of 0 0.04 t. So what we've got to do now is integrate this to find the average value. So it's going to be, let's see, over the first five years it's going to be 1 over 5 minus 0, and we've got to integrate from 0 to 5, 5,000 e to the power of 0 0.04 t with respect to t. Now what I'm going to do here actually I think is take this constant outside the integration just to make calculations easier and then it's, so the 5,000 will end up here, we've got to divide it by 5. So it's really it's going to be equal to 1,000 multiplied by the integral of this here. Well, actually, I'll write it out. So it's going to be 0 to 5 
uh, e to the power of 0 0.04t with respect to t. So let's do that out. So that's equal to 1000. And then we've got to integrate e to the power of 0 0.04t. So if you integrate e to the power of t, you're going to get e to the power of t, 0 0.04t in this case. But if you work backwards, say you differentiate this, do we get this? We actually won't. We'll get e to the power of 0 0.04t times all times 0 0.04. So we'll end up with an extra 0 0.04. We've got to get rid of that by putting in a 0 0.04 on the bottom of this fraction here. So that's what we should end up with. Our limits are 0 to 5 here as well. Okay, so we've got to just work all this out. So let's see, we've got 1000 times, we've got to put 5 in first, so it's 1 over 0 0.04 e to the power of 0 0.04 times 5. Then we've got to subtract, now we've got to put 0 in, so it's 1 over 0 0.04 e to the power of 0 0.04 times 0. So again, this is all just calculator work. You can do it in stages. I'm just going to skip to the end here. I would in the exam maybe do that bit out, this bit out. It's easy enough. This is just going to be 1 here because you've got e to the power of 0. And then uh, just multiply your answer by 1,000. So when you do all of that, correct to the nearest euro is 5535 euros. I think we were just asked to give our answer to the nearest euro, was it? Uh, give your answer correct to the nearest euro. So this is the average amount of money in the account over the first five years. Okay, so that's that one done. Let's have a look at three. Work out the annual rate of interest, AER, for this amount, for this account. That is, find a percentage increase in the amount of money in the account over the course of one year. Give your answer as a percentage correct to two decimal places. Okay, so we know that f of t is equal to 5,000 e to the power of 0 0.04t. So if we find f0, how much is in the account now, put a 0 in here, that'll give you e to the power of 0, which is 1, so that'll just be 5,000 euros. So there's 5,000 in there immediately. If we look at f1, after one year, that's e to the, 5,000 e to the power of 0 0.04 times 1. So if you work that out, you get 5204.053871. So the increase then is this minus this here. And you can see that that's just going to be 204.053871 euros. The percentage increase is 204.053871 divided by 5,000, what was in there originally, multiplied by 100. And when you do that, it says, give your answer correct at two decimal places, you get 4.08%. And that's it for the first of these longer questions.